Welcome to this Upsolver presentation illustrating how to join two streaming data sources. First we need to select our data sources. In this case we're going to enrich an add impression stream with data from an add click stream. Since you can have impressions without clicks but not clicks without impressions, we'll start with our impression data source. The data ID is the key field that we're going to use to join with our click data source. So let's select our click data source. And here's our key value, data ID, that we're going to join on. Now we're going to select Amazon Athena for our output. We'll put in some values here for the name and create the output. Now with that created, we're going to go ahead and switch from the UI mode to SQL mode to explicitly connect the streams using SQL. Here's the auto-generated SQL from Upsolver, but we need to enhance it so we can connect our streams together. First, let's take all four fields from the impressions table. So if the click time is null, we're going to set is click to zero. That means the join didn't match on the impression ID. This tells us if there was a click or not for that impression. Now we perform a left outer join on the clicks table. There can be more than one click on an impression, but we only want to know if there was a click, so we use the last function to grab the most recent click. Clicks come in after impressions, so we need to specify how long we're willing to wait for the click to arrive. The Upsolver SQL function wait 10 minutes on is going to delay the join operation for 10 minutes to give the click event enough time to arrive in the stream. This is a classic streaming join problem. There is a time dependency between streams that needs to be expressed in the transformation logic. Now let's enhance this even further for use in a machine learning model that will help predict if a user is likely to click on an ad. We sub-select on clicks and count how many times a given user has clicked. We also capture the last time that they clicked. Since we aren't interested in extremely old data, we use the Upsolver window function to only look at the last 90 days, specifically window 90 days. Let's go ahead and preview those results. As you can see, our impression data has been enriched with our click data and calculated fields. Let's go ahead and execute the query. We've gone ahead and taken some defaults and selected the Amazon Glue Catalog. Let's call this table Click Predict. And now let's generate the instance. Wow, we've got a lot of events here, but Upsolver can easily handle it. We'll go ahead and click Deploy and take a look in Amazon Athena. All our fields are here, so let's do some quick SQL to check the data. Let's go ahead and paste in this SELECT string and limit it to the first 10 records. Now let's run the query. And there is our output as expected. Thank you for trying the streaming join demo. Come to our website to find out more.